Okay, I think we're done inside Clanker. I just don't think... Well, obviously I don't have all the notes. I just, uh... I think the last of the notes are underneath the water in some kind of cave system somewhere. Yeah, I think I like... And uh, there's, there's different types of... Uh, forgive me for talking about video production real quick, but I think I like this style of, like, content more. The kind of just talk for however long and... You know, cut it up later. It was like, it was, I think Pikmin 2, I think as of right now, I mean, Fire Red hasn't been done for enough time for me to really look at it with like an unobjective, or an unbiased rather eye. Uh, I do feel like it was an enjoyable series. I think I enjoy like Pikmin 2 probably the most. It's probably my favorite series of my own if I can pick favorites, which I can because they're my videos. Uh, I enjoy Pikmin 2 the most. I, I started watching one of the videos just to be like, I wonder how my commentary has developed since, you know, from Pikmin 2 to now sort of thing. Uh, and I got roped in, and I just—I didn't even realize I watched like five more minutes. And I was like, "Oh man, that was—that was dangerous." Uh, but I think it's—I think it's a really good series. My only criticism is I wish I uh, talked a bit louder. I guess my my commentary was not quite uh, up to snuff. I think, but you know, it's—it's it's nice to see improvements. That's why cringing is kind of nice, right? Because it shows that like, oh, I cringe at my past behavior, therefore that means I probably won't do it again. Okay, I'm scouting out notes. I'm scouting out notes. Uh, I think they're on that pipe actually. The one that's kind of. Level to us, so if we get up here... Oh, Nelly. Do I need a talent trot up here? No. If I did, he would have, like, slowed down. Ooh. Ooh. Can't ledge grab in this game. Ledge grab, he's wave dashing, he's wave dashing. I've already been here. I've already been here, haven't I? Yeah, I have. Okay, I'm dumb. Alright. Here. <laughs> On the great hunt for four notes. Uh, where, oh, where could they be? Are they over there? Are they in that pipe? It kind of seems like where they'd be, right? No, there's a mumbo to- Oh, there they are. Okay, we found them. Got four notes, and we even got a mumbo token out of it. Okay, I'm gonna assume there's like a shock pad there or something. Uh, I know it's a shock pad because I had to look up the name of it to do the funny flying squirrel edit in episode two. Uh, good time. See, I like doing edits like that, where I'm like, I have an idea. I'm like, yeah, it takes time, but it's worth it because it's like, ah, it's funny. Things that make me laugh are really, uh, where my motivation for editing comes in. That's all 100 notes, baby. I got a perfect score besides the honeycomb pieces where I missed uh, one of them still. It's 10 mumbo tokens. Feeling good about that. All right, let's uh, let's make our way back to the start of the level. It actually isn't too far, so I guess I don't really need to cut this out. Uh, but let's make our way back to the start of the level. Oh, Clanker's Cavern of Wash. It wasn't too bad. It was just kind of I got lost a couple times, which is not good. And the general gameplay was slow, so it is what it is. You know, that's what I was talking about earlier, right? You don't want to make things go too fast, so I'm just kind of intentionally uh, I'm taking in the sights. No, I'm not. Okay, I don't listen. I don't really like it when let's players like. Uh, they disrespect the game's story, and they're like, I'm not here for a story, I just wanna- I wanna play video game. Like, I get it. I'm just- I'm only skipping the story in these games because I'm making, like, content, and I don't wanna bore people. And quite frankly, I'm not that excited about watching the same cutscene over and over again. But, like, if I was playing this casually, I would not mind watching the opening cutscene again. Or, like, every time I play Persona 4, I don't mind watching all the cutscenes and reading all the dialogue because, uh... It's a good game. Anyways, that's a W on Clanker's Cavern, I think. Wow, our best note score is now 100. Okay, so this does something. And we have to unlock the next... Oh, right, the switches, they get reset every time you go into a world and go out. Don't mind that on the left. Uh, they get reset, but they don't actually, like, get reset. Like, this is still up. It's just that the switch got reset. A bit confusing. I gotta get better at uh, speaking, I guess, using better vocabulary. Hello, Bruntilda. What kind of secrets do you have to spill about Grunty? Grunty wears a flea circus under that repulsive dress of hers. Dude, the more I hear about Grunty, the more I'm kind of liking her. He's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Big Naka. I mean, I was talking about E for everyone earlier. That is, Naka is British slang for testicle. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Monster Mob. They are awful. Dude, Grunty is like, I don't know. Maybe lay off her, yeah? I just... It seems pretty cool, if I'm being honest with you. Crunch. Useless like a pile of dung. So true, except not really. I like Kazooie. Kazooie's a great character. But Banjo's also good. They make a good, uh, make a good pair, they do. Banjo's very polite. Kazooie is just kind of... She's not politically correct. She says whatever she wants. She says the heck word. Welcome to the White Guy Podcast. We're two lifelong friends, and we're white guys. And we don't always agree on everything, and we don't care about those liberal PC nonsense. Uh, I just... I understand I'm making fun of podcasts, even though this series basically is a podcast, but... The important thing is that we opened up the way to Bubble Gloop Swamp. There it is. Oh, that confetti really does a number on the video game. Alright. The Bubble Gloop Swamp we go. 
for you. We, we've learned the gold feather technique, which actually isn't required to beat the game, I don't think. But it is really helpful. I've been kind of like, I've been making fun of the boss fights in this game. There is a boss fight in this game that is like actually difficult. And it's, it's part of my motivation where I'm like, maybe I should pay attention to where the honeycomb pieces are because I might want to get max health for that fight. Uh, but that's fine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like look up where they are off screen. I might go investigate where they are uh, and then show them if I decide to get the empty honeycomb pieces I missed. But um, I'm not gonna like look up where they are. If I don't know where they are, tough luck. I'll just miss them. Was that like 180 and we had 300? So we could have come here earlier, but we couldn't... Well, I mean, we could have opened up Bubble Gloop Swamp, I guess. It's just... No, no point not to do Clanker's Cavern. It's one of the early worlds. I mean, Grunty has, like... <laughs> has a giant painting of herself, and then she has a giant statue of herself. I'm starting to think she might be the bad guy in this situation. And down we go. The dynamic music in this game is fun. How it transitions into uh, a nice swampy theme. Uh, swamps... I've never been to, like, a swamp. I've been to, like, a kind of marshy area before. When I was a child, I used to sometimes take, like, summer trips out to a, a relative who owned a, a swampy... Swampy house? A house and a swampy area is what I'm trying to say. Uh, the move is, like, right... It's, like, right near the start, I remember. It's actually kind of important, too. Frog detected. This leads correctly... Correctly. This leads, this leads well into what I was going to talk about, which is that when I was younger, I used to get a bucket around and, uh, fetch frogs. It's crispy salsa exposed for animal cruelty. I wouldn't like eat them or like, you know, I wouldn't torture them. They were just they were just in the bucket and I was like Okay, listen, I maybe maybe I didn't let them go for an extended period of time, but I did let them go eventually. Did not uh did not torture those frogs. I just wrongfully imprisoned them. Yummy. Croctus liked that. Okay, Croctus. And now a new Croctus has showed up, one with blue eyes. He want yummy egg too. Okay. It's this world does feature uh, an interesting kind of uh, situation in the sense that there are, like, living creatures we have to enter. I guess last world did it too with Clanker, but this world is, like, really uh, interesting for it. Uh, so yeah, now we have these boots, by the way. That was the ability we learned how to put on boots. Uh, if we try and walk in this water, we will get eaten by piranhas. This is piranha water. Keep your smelly feet out. Well, that's okay. I'll just do... I will do just that, I think. Uh, I love that we have to get taught the ability to put on shoes, but oh well. I have to gatekeep some of the game eventually, I guess, or at some point. Real bad at speaking today. I hope it's uh, not too big of a deal. Point. And it's like this with Grant Kirkhope too, right? It's like, hey, we just need a we just need a little sound effect for putting on the boots. And he's like, hold my beer. I'm gonna make the entire banger of a theme based around wearing boots. Oh man, I remember when I had to wear like really heavy duty boots. I gotta say. I don't support, like, masculine, the, the masculine pride, right? You're not a real man unless you do this. But I do support the idea that, like, nothing makes it feel like a real man, like, but on a nice uh, pair of boots. I can intentionally miss to get the extra life. Uh, like, putting on a nice pair of boots, being like, yep, I'm ready for, for a greenhouse working. Uh, it's an egg, okay, we just gotta, like, slam it with Kazooie. You know how it is. I think there's a bug in this game, by the way, because I had nine lives, and I picked up another one, much like Kevin Spacey. Uh... I think there's a bug in this game where if you have... I mean, it's probably not a bug, but if you have nine lives and you pick up another one, I think it still counts, it just doesn't show it. I, I guess there's not enough computing power to show double-digit lives, but oh well. Sick. I was gonna say speedrun. I gotta stop saying speedrun tech, because it's like, it's always a joke. It doesn't mean anything. You know, a wise man once said it's better to stay quiet than to say nothing. Uh, I mean, a wise man didn't say that. Actually, I came up with that, like, I don't know, a year ago. And I thought it sounded clever, so that's why I said it, okay. I'm just shielding my own philosophy on this episode of Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, Croctus is up here somewhere, so we're gonna take a little detour to see him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, we got 40 seconds to get the dang... Sorry, I just had to get a, a closer view first person. We got, uh... Oh, the timer still goes down in the cutscene, huh? Uh-oh. Ooh. <laughs> that was a bit scary. We got notes. We got Bubble Gloop Swamp. There's just a lot of, uh... I feel like Clanker's Cavern is kind of a dip in quality in the worlds. And it kind of makes me think less of, like, this world, even though this world is actually, like, pretty good and I enjoy it. I'm gonna come back for you in a second, because this area is a bit, uh, precarious. Like, this is a good world, and I think the two worlds after this are good. And then I think... Oh, you know what? There's really only one, like, bad world left in the game, I would say. You all know what it is, and if you don't know what it is, we'll see it eventually. But that's in the future. We got good worlds, uh, up until then. Green Jinjo detected. Sorry, is your eardrums blown out? Gotta stop making that joke, man. It doesn't matter. I'm back for the mumbo token. We do need 15 in this world. Uh, egg. Econbocum, indeed. 
Oh, that's... <laughs> this is my favorite character in the game, and you're about to find out why. Okay, listen. I want everyone to know, my feet are so numb and cold. He's, he's asking for it when I slam Kazooie's neck down at his feet. Okay, now listen to the sound he makes. <laughs> that is... Listen, that's a bit better. He likes it, okay? He's, he's literally asking for it. This is not... This is not an evil deed, but it is the world's funniest noise, and I love... And he just... Oh, I really hope there's, like, a clean sample of that somewhere, because that is the funniest sound effect I've ever heard in any game. He spits out a jiggy. Hmm, a tank top's warm at last. Perhaps you'd like this. Thank you, tank top. I'm also gonna get these boots so I can get that Jinjo, uh, damage free. Can you beat Banjo? Cause it's, yes. It's, that's something else I gotta stop talking about, because it doesn't matter. Why do I talk about things if I'm just going to end up complaining about them? It's a good question. Definitely one of my toxic traits. Uh, along with, like, pretending to be an activist even though I'm just lazy and I don't feel like doing something. Three jiggies, and we can even go inside Tank Top's mouth. What an honor to be in here. Oh, there is an empty honeycomb piece in here. I'm gonna do the jiggy thing first. Ooh, also notes. Oh, fitting, considering this is... It's a musical choir, okay? They've got music notes on their shelves. Eternals are scary. They just live to be so dang old and, like, they're slow, but they're, they're tanky, you know? I wouldn't want to fight one hand-to-hand. -hand. Oh, sorry, I have to be quiet, please. Riveting stuff. I'd clap, but my hands are on the controller. Uh, so we have to memorize. There's like three of these that we have to memorize what the uh, order of the shells are. Obviously, the only way to make them play the notes is to slam Kazooie on their backs. Uh, I'm not really sure, like... I'm not really sure how people memorize these things. Not in like, a, I don't know how they do it, but more in like, a, they should... I'm, I wonder if there's a study on like, how... What, what's your method for memorizing? My method is I draw a line between them. So I start at red. I'm like, okay, there's a line between red, purple, blue. And then there, so it forms like a rhombus. And then, yeah. So it basically just forms a rhombus and then goes to pink. Uh, I can remember that. Did I? It starts at red, right? I'm not stupid? Okay. I get the actual fear that I couldn't remember a five-color combination. Like, I'm not sure if people, like, assign numbers to them and remember it that way, or if they just remember the colors. I like to think I have a pretty good memory, so let's not uh, prove myself wrong on camera by just getting this last one correct very easily. Should be, like, seven. Start at the red again. Blue. Oh, that's an awkward line, because that's like a triangle. Uh-huh. That's another triangle. Okay, this should be... I think I've got it. Oh my god, I actually don't think I have it, but I... I have a six... See, like, I know it's not uh, the pink one, right? Okay. Oh, I actually just don't remember which one is next. Is it yellow? No, it's light blue. It's light blue, and then dark blue, and then yellow. Uh, and then after that, I think it's dark blue again. I wasn't really paying attention, if I'm being honest. But actually, I'm a genius, so I don't need to pay attention to simple things like this. A true masterpiece. Thanks, man. Dude, Tank Top is just hoarding so many jiggies. What an a Honestly, what a legend. We stand a toxic king. <laughs> yeah, sorry, there's nothing else to teach. That's fine. There's an empty honeycomb piece up here, which I kind of want. Oop. Hey, two more, and we can get an extra life piece. That uh, should be easy. I mean, I sh it should have been easy to get the one in uh, Treasure Trope Co., but I'm very stupid, so I apologize for that. All right, out the turtle we go. Oh, I think I've recovered. I, I don't think I was, like, sick the other day when I was recording. I just think I uh, had a little something going on with my... Oh, sorry, e epic boss fight incoming. I guess this is the boss fight of this world. There's just a bunch of, like, frogs showing up. Uh, we just have to, like, golden feather our way into them. Well, you don't have to, but it sure makes it easier. Oh, my frames. It's not the video dying. It's the video game. Okay. Oh. Too tough for us flippets. Take our gold. Quick, get get all this gold off my screen. It's destroying the video. Okay, it's fun. An N64 charm. I'm just like, ah, nice. The game has been destroyed because there are five frogs currently on the screen. And I'll say it's a, it's a pretty big world we got here with Bubble Loop Swamp. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna say it, okay? I've been, I've been holding on to this one for a while, and I'm... I'm mad as heck, and I ain't gonna take it anymore. I'm ready to, to throw hands with Frenches, okay? Not like the French people, that would be the French people. I'm talking about French's the condiment company. Until the switch detected. Uh, listen, their mustard and ketchup, in terms of, like, quality, like, eating it, I think it's fine, right? In terms of, like, getting it out of the dang bottle, there's something wrong with, uh, their ketchup. And I don't, I don't know how to properly explain this, and this sounds, like, super schizophrenic. But, like, I swear... <laughs> Guys, source do just trust me. Their ketchup just will not come out of the bottle. I gotta get a better angle, man. 
Their mustard is fine. Their ketchup just does not want to exit the bottle, and I'm not sure how to... Like, I... I I, I, this is a public service announcement to anyone working at French's. If you work at French's and you also watch these videos, please, like, conduct an investigation into uh, your ketchup bottle. Maybe? Because there's something going on. And it's like every single time I try to get ketchup out of it, you have to, like, squeeze too hard, and it's like, oh, now I have too much on this one part, and now I gotta, like, kind of... Do I smear it with my, like, finger or, like, a butter knife, or do I just kind of accept that this one part of my hot dog is going to be quite sweet? It's pretty easy if you got, like, a hamburger. Listen, I like hamburgers over hot dogs, because if you if you put the condiment, like, on it, you can just kind of, like, smear it around with the bun, right? And that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I don't know. It's just hot dogs are... I think hot dogs are a more convenient shape to eat, I would say. Uh, but hamburgers, I think, just kind of... There's something something quite meaty about them. Something quite enjoyable that I enjoy. It, oh, boy. A true wordsmith we're working with today. Ah. Is this... No, I, I thought I heard bees. Uh, this guy does not have bees yet. Later in the game, those honeycomb hive hives are going to have bees, so it's not so easy to get the honey out of them unscathed. Look at all these notes. Yeah, so that that giant crocodile that is, in fact, blinking and alive, we also have to go inside him to get a jiggy. It's just, I don't know what the... Just threw a bunch of real live animals in here, and we got to go inside them. It's, it's strange, for sure. Now it's annoying. It still does the animation. i got to be real careful not to miss one here. I don't know, I guess if I get to the end of the world and I missed only one note, uh, it's not that bad, because I'll just know that it's somewhere in here. But it is still, like, a real... Ooh, if I'd rather not go through this again. Uh, I think we have... Yeah, I think we have, like, the whole... Excuse me, I think we have the whole, like, transformation sequence set up. Sometimes in worlds you have to, uh, do a transformation multiple times, because you have to, like... You, you get to the transformation and then you're like, oh, I actually need to be Banjo and Kazooie to do this section, and it's kind of annoying. Nice. Dokes on you, you cancelled my boot animation. Is there a token back here? There was something back here. How did he know? I've been running it transformed. What do you think into? 